welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the syntax of Java. So let me launch our IDE, which is Apache NetBeans. So I have to go to file, then new project. So I will select Java with Ant, then Java application. Then I'm going to give it a name. So since we'll be talking about the syntax of Java, I can use the keyword syntax so I can first video so let me use first on my video so I'll click on finish Yeah. I first want to check if everything is working perfectly so I'm going to print out a simple message yeah. hello Let me run, you can see. So this is our uh, resource, the hello world. So it means that everything is working. In every programming language, they, they have a syntax for printing something to the screen. In Java, if you want to print something to the screen, we use system.out.println. This print line is a, a, a method. We can either use print line or print. So here we are going to pass the parameter to it. This line is what executable statement because whenever we um, write or code this line, we expect that Java will produce something to us. There are two types of lines in coding. We have non-executable lines and executable lines. Non-executable lines are termed as what comments comments are statements that we write in our code which serve as a note or a reminder of whatever we are doing at that moment so if i want to write a comment like this i can say this is a print statement so this is a print statement we have the system dot out dot print is executable line and this is a comment we have two types of comments we have a single line comment and a multi-line comment a single line comment is a, um, a comment that is occupying only a single line and a multi-line comment is a comment or statement that spread more than two lines so let's say sorry let me just print here so i 
another comment is let's see this is the first line so then this is what second line if you have a comment like this where we will be spreading more than one line what we can use is we can use forward slash retort asterisk then we will end it with asterisk with the forward slash so it means that when java sees this it will consider this as what a comment so java will never execute this line so let's run it and see we expect to what, get the same output that we had earlier because we've not done anything different one thing is with this line that you've added is a comment so java will never ever execute it it will just um see it and pass java is one of the object oriented programming languages meaning that java helps you to organize your program into classes and into methods whenever you create the first project of java java gives you a method called the main method this is the method this is where program execution starts if you delete this method or change the name of the method it means that your java program will never ex execute or will never run because if the compiler wants to compile your project it has to locate this method so with this method we don't do anything to it maintain it as it is i will take you through the things that you are supposed to do when we talk about public it means that we are talking about the access modifiers when we talk about access modifiers we are talking about the scope of which we can access this method in other classes so meaning public means we can access it anywhere in the package when we talk about static static means that we can use this method without creating an object of it all these things will make sense as we move on but for now let's just get the meaning we have the void when we say void it means that this method is not going to retain any value if we want the method to retain a value we can either use the data type of that value which we'll be talking about data types um, in our other tutorials for now let's do it like this then we have the main so the main is the name of the method when we enter into this parenthesis we have something we call the string arg which is what a string argument it's an array that the um, java has declared we are not supposed to touch it so every uh, method in java has a block that is the beginning curly bracket and the ending curly bracket in between this curly bracket is where you are supposed to put all your codes there so all codes that belongs to what this method is supposed to be inside this block it's supposed to be inside this block let's come back to our class this is the name of the class this is a name that we ourselves will define but it has to follow some rules one we can't name a class with any identity or identifier that has a space in it no it's not possible java won't allow you so we have to do it like this 
we can't also begin with what numbers java do not accept that but you can begin with dollar or underscore you can begin with this this it is highlighting it because the name of the class is supposed to be the same name of the file so if you change it like this it means that you have to make sure that we rename the file so i'll rename the file so things that we have to take notice we can't begin with numbers we can't allow spaces between the names we can't use any other symbol being hash um, the question mark percentage or any other thing apart from underscore and dollar so let me run it and see it is going to run so it means dollar is not implicit so let me use dollar let me remove dollar and see so it's working so it means dollar to exclude there so one thing that you have to understand is you can't use any symbol dollar percentage and any other thing apart from underscore so this is the name of the class so the class has what a curly bracket which refers to the block of it so any code that belongs to this class is supposed to be in between what the two curly brackets then we move to what the methods in what the classes so this is a little bit of um, the syntax that we are supposed to know about what um, java you be um, discovering more as you move on for now let's maintain this one and pause this video here yeah.